Welcome to die! Hello frogs and welcome back to the Rogue Legacy! Um, I did not mean to press the end credits. That was not my intention. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the last uh, episode's death montage. I'm gonna try like three more times against the boss. And if I still fail, I will start exploring the castle yet again and... Um, well, try to get some more money to level up. It also depends on uh, the class I will get, of course. For example, if I get a Spelunky, then I'm more likely to... Uh, I am more likely to uh, explore the castle. That's a lot of boxes. I don't remember there being this many boxes, actually. But I guess there are. Right, I'm a Hockage. I'll deal heavy damage really easily. Okay, so they're basically most difficult when they're small like this. The smaller they are, the more dangerous they become. That is why I must destroy them as quickly as I can. Which is easier said than done, of course, but still... So close, yet so far away. Certain runes work better with certain bosses. Yeah, you can say that twice. No, thank you. Replacement technique. Actually, spell swords are really effective. Especially against this boss. So, I will try the uh, spell sword. And be on my merry way. Get I, do I get to keep? Nope, okay. So yeah, we, we can barely see in the dark here now. That's fine though. I don't think the boss will be difficult for it. But I could be wrong, I could be wrong. 60 mana, how much HP did I have? Uh, more than enough. Uh, although, you know, more than enough to take damage from it as well. Oh yeah, they're weak to against fire, I forgot about that. Oh god. I'm really close to dying. go. What's already out? Now! Close but no cigar. Okay, come on game, give me a spelunky and so I can start exploring the castle again. Archmage. Okay, nope. <laughs> wow, dwarf. This ain't gonna be good. <laughs> uh, being small on this boss is um, suicide more or less. Uh, well, perhaps not suicide, but it's really damn dangerous, to say the very least. I am uh, close to fact, basically. Very close to fact. Uh, but uh, in the end it will be fine, I think. I will make it through, Herodotus. You will die. Okay, what the hell? Not sure what that was for. Or what was even up with that? Okay, you know what? When you take this much damage from a re regular enemy, then, you know, you're screwed. Oh wow, alright. I forgot about that. <laughs> that was a feeb feeb feeble attempt at this boss. Another Hockage. I could go for Barbarian as well. Uh, oh my god. Okay, Barbarian. Lady Sonia the fifth. Well, I could, you know, uh, 
redo the uh, lineage. But uh, I, it didn't strike my mind that I had that unlocked until now, so... I kinda made a mistake! Kinda made a mistake! That will be fine though. I'm sure I'll beat the boss now, when I least believe that I will do so. I think that I need to upgrade more strength, ultimately, possibly some defense. And, you know, possibly health. I could be wrong though. Okay, food! Which I lose right away. Right, forgot about the fact that they spawn these pillars of rock from beneath. Wow, the axe. The axe is basically terrible for this. Okay, come on now. Critical. Awesome, awesome. Just what I needed, it feels like. Okay, the big one is over there. This one is the most dangerous. Actually, the second most dangerous. It's another one that's equally dangerous. Thank you, game. Yeah, I should probably move away here now. I do want them to g jump up here, after all. But I don't want them to be so grouped up like that. There we go, thank you for that game. Good, managed to deal with him as well. There is still that big one now, which is now two smaller ones. Okay, he escaped too, coward. Here we go, I can take one more hit, I believe. There we go, good. Ooh. That was that hit, now I'm not allowed to take any more hits. Level 82, okay, that's dangerous, alright. And... Defy Death? No, okay. Defy Death never really works when you want it to work. Hokage. Uh, Corfolia. Let's reroll. Colorblind, no thank you. Uh, let's try the Paladin then. Lady Shinoa the sixth. <laughs> she saw her sister fall in battle. <laughs> now she will go and revenge her sister. But most likely die in battle herself. She's not a very bright one. <laughs> She's an all-around hero, but uh, not a very bright one. That was always her shortcoming in life. Thinking that she was a great a warrior as her mother. Okay, so three hits basically for them. It may seem that, you know, taking them out one by one would be a good idea, but ultimately that is not a good idea, as if you split them up for too many, it will be difficult for you. For example, now there's a small one. Okay, now there's no longer a small one. It's dead. There we go. All the small ones are dead so far. Yeah, that's clearly a miss. Okay, some MP recoverage.
Okay, that's not what I wanted. That's what I want, though. Oh god, I'm almost dead again. Correction, I am dead. I defeated one of him. Okay, can I please... You conduct electricity really well. You know what? This can be quite helpful. It's gonna be a yet another death montage, really, but... Uh, sometimes you really have to have these death montages. Showcasing when people are dying. And how they fell in the battle. It's really important that you don't fall in battle. Did I have a map over this fighting area? I don't think I did, right? So basically, remembering whatever single enemy is is a bad idea. I think. Yeah. Thirty-two. At least I'm defensive. Okay, I need to push them closer to the wall. <laughs> Trick the slimes. The slimes. I tricked them. I tricked the slimes from attacking. Okay, push him into the wall of doom. Oh, 94 HP recovery. Nice. Now we're having some more luck with the health. I should probably have left some of them alive, though. Okay, we have a nice setup here of enemies. Oh, yeah, that's right, that's what I need MP truly for for the shout so I can push away the enemies if they are too close up to me like this. I have dealt a lot of damage though. Okay, good. I'm not doing super well on health or mana at the point of time. Okay, I'm taking too much damage from these small guys. Oh god, I can only take I can't take any more hits now. If I do, I die. Two of them are dead. I can take one more hit before I die. Okay, my heart is racing really badly now. Whew! Close one. Okay, one less of the smaller slimes. Even one less now. There's only these two that left. Only one left. Oh god, so lucky though. I got him. Well, I can still die there and... I would do that, that would be terrible. MP increase, strength increase, and arm increase. Nice. So there we go. All that awaits us now is the final boss of the game. That and the uh, di diary logs. So, uh, let's go and explore. Collect them treasures. And of course more health. God, I died. Death defy? Okay, nope. Lady Henrietta the seventh. It was you who set the bar for all of your kin. I'm gonna play as a dwarf hockage. Let's see anything useful I can upgrade. Like this. Invulnerability time up. Yes, thank you, game. Uh, well, this would be really good. Equip weight up. 
So I'm gonna go for that. Uh, we will start exploring the castle a bit more now. Uh, with the boss dead and all. Because we still have... We have, well, we have, we have diary logs to collect. More or less. So, now we get to see the door open. And uh, we can enter the final boss whenever we like. But... Um, I don't think we want to. We have plenty of dialogues to collect after all. We only got 10 of them. So, you know. We'll have to collect gold along the way. Whoops. Forgot about the so I forgot that the zombies existed. More or less. You know what? I should probably save up money for the... For health refills. But then again, having a mana refill is also really good. It did help me in the battle against the slime. I uh, don't really <laughs> remember his name. I should, considering that he killed me like a thousand times, it feels like. I know it's uh, not exactly a thousand times, it was over exaggeration, but... At the same time... I should remember his name, because he did kill me more times than, than I can count. And he did grant me a, you know, a death, death, uh, montage. Okay, that would be a good placement for, you know, the uh, Doom Wars, or whatever they're called. Okay, a dead end. Not that that, yeah. Not that dead ends matter too much. Because it's all about the money. Okay, MP. Silly zombie thinking he could survive me. The great frog himself. There we go. Okay, I got that technique. Something I don't really use that much. I don't think it's too reliable either, actually. It has its uses, clearly, but... Eh. Don't really want to rely or want it. Okay, can I stop taking stupid damage now, please? It's kind of funny, you know, with the runes. You can get the runes in... All of the runes, really, in Castle Hamilton. Uh, but uh, when it comes to armor... You want to go to the forest for stronger armor. You want to go to the tower or the Maya for stronger armor. Etc, etc. That was stupid. Take no damage. Easier said than done, really. You make no mistake, you can't really walk on these. It feels like you should be able to, but you can't. But there we go, we got the great chest plate. Oh, and we get a silver bracers. Nice. That's actually really good. Wow, that was easy. But then again, I am stronger now than I was when actually initially going through the forest, so... That's kind of the deal with this game. You get stronger. The more bosses you kill, the stronger you get. For example, now I one-shot the, the mages here. Something I wouldn't do when I first time arrived in the forest. I am pretty close to dying, you know. And ultimately, that is a problem. Here we go, all of them are dead. Bye now. Stupid eye enemy. Okay, this was a dead end. With some HP, mind you, so... It was not a bad dead end. And the last dead end wasn't bad either, because it gave me treasures, but... You know... The more dead ends you can avoid, the better. Hello there, slime boys. You're not even nearby as dangerous as your boss counterpart. But you know, thanks for trying. It's the fact that you tried that matter. Slow and steady wins the race. Wow. It just... Uh, you know, not a dead end, it's just uh, a connecting path. What? Was an enemy still alive? 
Blasphemy! I can't leave enemies alive. What kind of hero would I be if my enemies were to be left alive? Okay, that was damn of me. Come on now. Come on, come on. Skullboy. Thank you. Okay. I did see him. I just didn't realize that he was an enemy and waiting to be killed. I really like the fact you can see Santa in the background. It always humored me with that. I don't think I ever mentioned it before actually, but now it's the best time for it then. You can sometimes see Santa riding in the background of the forest. That's my favorite part about the forest besides the full moon of course. I've always loved full moons. They're so pretty. Okay, so wrong map. Wrong button I mean. Wrong map! What? You have two maps? No, you don't. Right, a dead end, this one. So, you know, I'm still looking for money, treasures, and the diary logs. Those things are my main concern here. go awesome okay that was terrible and okay here I'm gonna continue exploring the forest because that's where the next um, diary log will be either here or in the Maya get okay, treasure up there Okay, one of those guys. I was kind of hoping to get it to get stuck in the wall. It would have been the best and easiest way for me to deal with it. Uh, but the fact that I didn't... Well, I got it here. So, you know, that's all fine and dandy. Okay, there we go. Some more treasure chests. It's a tower defense game. Villainous development time. Three months. Release date April 15th, 2011. Villainous was one of the most risky endeavors we undertook. The initial concept was a reverse tower defense, which sounded like it could be a good idea, but we had a hard time converting the could to would. Most people who have played the game think the process was an obvious one, but lots of stress and arguments were involved in this project. The entire idea was scrapped three or four times before we settled on its final version. It is ironic then that to date Villainous is far away one of our most successful titles. It was also the most painful. I really do like those paintings though, leaving uh, a bit of lore back with um, the developer teams, their history, so to speak. So to say. Okay, so I'm actually curious on what's down here. Okay, part of the forest still. Kind of interesting that they chose this road, but or route. It's a dead end though, with a treasure and a tall guard. He wasn't very tall because he was killed by a dwarf. I, actually, that statement doesn't make sense. But he didn't really. He wasn't too tall over my character. Then again, he was level 22 or so. The, the weaker variant of him. Obviously. That end, right? Should be one at the very least. Nope, it wasn't. Okay. Okay, a really good uh, treasure uh, chest. Diary log, good. General Entry 11. This force is unlike anything I've ever seen before. It is both serene and terrifying. I stand on lush grass, but besides me, John's open a chasm so wide and deep it threatens to swallow me whole. I still have not heard a response from the rock I tossed in earlier. A single misstep and my descent would be eternal. It is truly a horrifying thought. An eternity of darkness is more frightening than any beast I have fought thus far. 
If I fell, what would kill me first, the hunger or myself? On a side note, I am now using the force fissure as my own personal laboratory. I wonder if I'm pooping into another dimension. <laughs> so he's actually pooping here. Funny. There we go, dead end trust chest. And of course diary log, so my job here is done. And that is great, friends. That is great. Okay, so now let's move onwards, obviously. Level 71, okay, that's pretty good actually. Okay, another uh, dwarf treasure chest. Wow, 112. I know I'm playing with a hoggage, but that's kind of impressive. Okay, more food that I didn't really need. Oh, no looking, okay. Not sure how we would go, go about to get it then, but... Oh yeah, they, you can encounter these guys over here. Kinda funny how their green is barely with visible, it's kinda tor turquoise. Instead of green, you know. I think I've got a couple of things to cut out in the boss battles. Defeat all enemies. How will I ever do so? That's a fairly good question actually because I can't go inside. Oh well, I mean, that's a fair chest I won't be grabbing, unfortunately. Um, what is that? Some kind of a gingerbread man? Silly weird game. Uh, some more food that I don't need. Lavatory, that's a word I don't see that often. I don't really use it myself either, but still. Okay, I trust chest. Not bad. 5277. Damn you, skull bone. Skull is boar. Are you a skelly boar? Or do you just wait a skeleton? That's some puns for ya. Any passages? Nope. No connecting paths? No connecting path, I mean. With the forest. Then we'll start traveling upwards for the Maya. It's not often I clean up an entire area like this either. So you know, savor this moment friends, savor this moment. Because we won't be witnessing this quite often. Journal entry number 12. I have found a solution to my hunger problems. The forest holds an endless bounty of delicious mushrooms, and within these mushrooms lie chicken legs, also coal coins, and vials of sparkling water. I broke open a tree trunk earlier, and a bag of money fell out. Sometimes I feel like I have gone insane. Plus, what is up with the moon? It's huge! Yeah, it was huge. I agree on that. Okay, so I can't get them now, can I? Nope, I can't get the treasures though. Shame I can't get the enemies, but thus is life sometimes. So I was pretty sure I could only get you know the last journal pages in the forest and the Maya and such. Guess I was wrong then. It's probably for the best being wrong about this though. Well that was easy. A little bit too easy perhaps. Well, not that I mind. A lot of treasure chests. A lot of gold. Gold! Gold! Sweet gold! Okay, so... Let's check it downwards first. Oh, 
I do want to uncover everything that is down below here. Also, I need to do the screensaver because I've been recording for more than half an hour. There we go. At least, you know, the computer doesn't turn down and becomes black. Okay, so here's the boss room. Perfect. Did I ever find a boss room here? Okay, yeah, I did. Uh, the reason why I'm leaving the statues behind is because I might be forced to grab uh, more health after all. That's a health spring. I'm gonna need that in the future. There we go, awesome. I don't believe my friend, uh, my real life friend, hasn't beaten this game yet. Okay, so there we go, that's the uh, the darkness. The hardest area of the game, obviously. So, well, let's see what we will find down here. Some traps and a treasure chest with loads of money in it. Oh, can you believe playing as a Spelunky? I would have been richer than I already am. <laughs> oh, you're alive. And you didn't even hit me. I am surprised. Thought you would. Okay, so we have various different pathways here again. Okay, that was stupid. Loads of money. Loads and loads of money and make my day go richer by I don't know But uh, you know, I'm doing a lot of progress. This is like the run Or the earn as uh, speedrunner says Thank you. I really love it when they align themselves together like that to be killed in one swell go. You may wonder why I'm destroying all the furniture despite not needing health or mana. It's quite simple. I can still get gold after all. Okay, two hits. Mm, enemies, perhaps? Nope. You know what, what I like the most about Maya? It's a serene music that plays in the beginning of the area. Okay, I did not realize you were there, Skeleton Archer. I really hate those uh, demon guys. You know you're in the Maya because you die right away. I kill a lot of enemies. More than the game could count. So, my friends, that was this episode of Rogue Legacy. If you enjoyed this episode, consider becoming part of the Frog Squad by subscribing today. Share this video with your friends if you like. Give this video a good old like. Share this video with your friends. I probably repeated that. And if you enjoyed the episode, give it a good old like to show your support. With that said, this is Manal Begros saying thank you very much for watching. Stay frog everyone. And I hope to see you next time. See you then.